This is probably the biggest personnel matter that the state of Texas has ever dealt with in modern history, the impeachment of an attorney general. Ken Paxton is the first Texas attorney general to be impeached in Texas. He's going to stand trial in September uh, at the beginning of the month, uh, and it's going to be something that's going to be uh, tightly con uh, controlled by the senators uh, and the uh, presiding officer. When the impeachment trial begins on September 5th, Scott Braddock, an editor with the CornReport.com, says the state chambers will see more like a courtroom with Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick serving as its judge. They will uh, a witness stand in there and people get mm -hmm. up and give testimony and like you would see in a courtroom. Paxton has been summoned to appear where he will face the Senate who will be acting like jurors. Right now, uh, Paxton is suspended. His swipe card doesn't work and his parking space has been taken away over at the Attorney General's office. He hopes to get it back. Rules for the impeachment trial were approved on a vote of 25 to 3 after two days of closed door meetings. The three senators who voted no were Senator Sarah Eckhard, Senator Bob Hall, and Paxton's wife, Senator Angela Paxton. It has been revealed that Senator Angela Paxton will be barred from voting. They had to sort of split the baby on this because the Texas Constitution says that all senators, including Senator Paxton, have to sit through the trial. So she is going to be present, but she won't be allowed to vote when the Senate makes its final decision and when the Senate holds its closed doors deliberations during the trial. She won't be able to participate in that.